I recently got to thinking, what if a religious text was forgotten for many, many years, and suddenly it was rediscovered, and in all this time, the people hadn't been following these rules. They had no idea about the content of these religious texts, and because of changes in language over time or something, or just, you know, mistranslation, whatever, the translation came out with the rules changed, sometimes reversed. Let's say monothe monotheistic religion, suddenly women are the more important gender, and blacks are preferable to whites. You know, things like that, things of that nature. I wonder, wouldn't it work just as well, in quotes, as before, you know, as when the rules were followed as written? I would guess that the people would just follow these roles, you know, just like, I mean, I don't think every single man who has grown up in an authoritarian system has necessarily wanted to be all, you know, always in control and, you know, making all the decisions and, you know, the wife just has to listen and all that stuff. I don't personally believe that that is true. You know, you just follow the role that you will be accepted following especially in a any kind of fundamentalist circle. I don't know if any psychological studies have been made on this, have discovered any at least. But I think it's worth exploring. I think it doesn't really make a difference if it is this or that skin color, or this or that gender. I mean, I can understand why men were select. Now, before you burn me in effigy and, you know, think I'm male chauvinist pig, what I mean is, you know, just going by you know, evolution, and the way we originally had to live with, you know, using nature. Not that we don't still, even though a lot of people won't admit that. Man was the one who hunted while women had to stay behind and basically take care of the children, whether unborn or born. You know, whether they were pregnant, someone pregnant can't hunt, obviously. So the men were kind of the ones who made the quick decisions. They were the ones who decided where should we live right now, you know, because the women basically just followed that. They didn't really, you know, th there wasn't room for the woman to suddenly say, no, I think we should live over here instead. You know, it's the man who makes this decision and you know, it's the man who recognizes all the different signs of nature. It's the man who interprets. It's the man who finds, you know, something left behind from an animal that they could maybe hunt. So it makes sense that he's the one in charge. But today, there are women who rule and who do so quite well now, you know. The idea that you need a man to rule no, it's been proven that you really don't, and I think the only, I think one of the big, at least, problems, one of the big things keeping this from happening more often is just tradition, you know, that old enemy of logic, one of the enemies, anyway just, you know, well, we haven't, and, you know, and religion, religion and tradition, you know, not all traditions are religious, but religion, 
uses tradition a lot. So, yeah, you know, tradition and religion keeping women from being allowed to be in charge, you know, usually, if, when, when they are kept from being in charge. But yeah, I think I have made the point that I wanted to, so farewell.